I remember one time I was in a, at a show and there was a man sitting in the audience and he was relaxed. You could tell he'd been in a long-term relationship. Big man. You could tell long-term relationship because he's kind of leaning back and he leaned to one side here. And you could tell he'd been in a very long-term relationship and his missus was sitting on this side. And he's trying to lean away from her. He's with her, but he wants to be as far away as he can. He's head in the next woman's breast here, just enjoying life in a different way. And I stood up, I said, yo, excuse me, sir. How long have you been in a relationship? He goes, young man, I've been married for 29 years. I went, ooh, that's a long time. You must know stuff. Let me ask you something. In a sentence, what is romance? He stood up and said, romance is doing something to show your partner that you love them. The only way you can do that is if you're dead. And he sat down. <laughs> I thought, what kind of morbid answer is this? He said, young man, look at history and literature and you'll understand what I'm talking about. And I did. I looked at history and literature and he weren't lying. For every person to show their partner, for every man to show their partner that he loves the partner, the man had to dead to do so, you know? Every single one had to die. I'm serious. Hercules fell in love, dead. <laughs> Saint Valentine fell in love, dead. <laughs> Samson in the Bible, you know, fell in love, got a trim, dead. Everything dead, <laughs> everyone dead. Jack from Titanic, you see why this one pisses me off the most? Jack from Titanic. He's in the water, freezing his backside off, you know? She's on the wardrobe door. It looked like a double bed spread, you know? Couldn't let Jack have no squeeze. She's on there saying, push pussy, land is that way. <laughs> Hurry up, man, I'm freezing. My man froze, you know, dead. Everyone just dead. And you know what upset me the most about this as well when I think about it? I looked at history and literature again. Ain't no woman dying for their man. There's not one. No, think, think of literature. Tell me a woman that died for their man, go on. <laughs> 